It was the signature moment of the tournament. Juliano de Oliveira calmly looking down the barrel of a seven meter shot. <laughs> then the block with no time left to preserve a 25-24 victory over Cal Heat, sending his LA team handball club into the finals of the 2015 California Cup to meet the Chicago Inter team handball club, the dominant team of the tournament was the momentum created by this incredible stop enough to rally his team to victory over a relentless team from the Midwest whose wing-to-wing -wing strength was without equal? Stick around to see the best of the California Cup 2015. this sport has grown in popularity steadily. I know from having lived in Europe uh, at one time, uh, it's extremely popular there. There's a beautiful goal scored by Sujino, the Japanese player for Chicago. At least has been their style today. Oh, oh but a turnover away. there. Intercepted not a good, not a good beautifully choice. by Sujino and a great oh. pass in on a fast break, but the goal the, the goal, goal frame stopped out. The goalkeeper came out again, as I said, to cut the angle down and force the thrower to throw it a little high. Well, on that one, they did not give him the advantage. There was too much time between the foul and when the shot was taken. That shot blocked, and here's a fast break and no defense at all. Easy goal for Suzino. Chicago quickly coming down, trying to take advantage of that. We have 15 seconds left. We'll see if they can get a shot off. That was beautifully scored. So Mark, I want to point out that I was a goalkeeper when I played, and goalkeepers <coughs> are in fact the smartest players on the court. Of course. That's true of any goalkeeper sport, isn't it? That's correct. And there's a beautiful shot in. Number 13. I think that was Justus Ambroskas. That's right, a, goal a goalkeeper can keep you in the game or can really turn it around for you. Beautiful shot there. That's Hernandez. So what they'll, try, what they'll want to do is go in and draw some fouls if they can, or take a shot if they get a good one, like that. Like that one, and it results in a goal. Beautifully taken. That was Alexander Lohr, the German Ale national. Alexander is now the leading scorer with five goals. That looked like holding, but nothing called. There's a shot and it's broken up. Another that was Abdalia. There goes Sugino again. So Sugino has extended the lead to 21 to 14. Yeah, I was, I'm not surprised. Not surprised. It's going to be a timeout. Angela's taking their timeout now.
They can't, uh, can't afford to work the ball around too much no. here. They need to get some shots off. But they need to be effective shots. Right now, they're on the deep perimeter. And there's a turnover and resulting in another fast break. This is a three on one. And it's a goal. The La Shell again scoring as uh, Chicago is uh, broken again, but coming right back the other direction is LA and Angelic, a uh, Serbian national, unable to connect. So the, there's a break. And a goal. No, it did not go in. It, uh, he had the goal he beat. He'll try to score again. And this time he players have scored. Well, not all of them, but uh, they wanted Roman to score. Uh, so that was... And that's the end of the game. A 10-goal lead, 31-21, to 21, Chicago over Los Angeles.